Hello everyone, welcome back to Dolce Vita Egg Banana's channel. I'm Dr. Banana, a Canadian who grew up in Japan, Taiwan, and Canada, all three countries. And this is my wife. Hi, I'm Lady Egg, a Polish who has been living in Taiwan for six years. Finally, October now, our favorite month of the year. But October is here already. We're moving into October already, if you can believe it. Can you believe it's already October? I is it also your favorite month of the year? Yes. <laughs> Guess why? Because October has Halloween. Mm. <laughs> Don't be scared. And this year, even Canadian Thanksgiving falls in October. What a great month, huh? Yeah, and uh, October is the month when finally the weather, the temperatures start to drop. Mm. Especially, uh, you know, we live in tropics. Yeah, here, here. in Gaoshan. Yeah, here in Gaoshan. So yeah, since it's fall, it's autumn. So today we are going to share some of the autumn-related phrases to all you guys. Yay! Welcome back to Multilingual Multi Tea Time. So how about let's just adopt the way that we did in our previous episode? You can check it out if you haven't seen it before. Yes. So let's start from the English phrases. Unfortunately, recently I feel a bit under the weather. Mm. Uh, you know, I sneezed a little bit, but I guess this is just the typical uh, weather of fall. So this is something that we all have to get used to. Yeah. And as we mentioned before. Uh, October is the month that we celebrate the Canadian Thanksgiving this year. The Canadian Thanksgiving, not American one. Yes. Yeah. And when it comes to Thanksgiving, there's probably one thing that comes straight into your mind, which is... Turkey! Yeah, it's turkey. Now, to ensure the most healthy, flavorful meat. Everyone loves hot turkey prepared directly from your oven, right? Mm -hmm. Do you like cold turkey? No, of course not. Hot turkey is the best. Mm. So, what does exactly cold turkey imply? Cold turkey literally means something you want to get rid of. It could be a, some bad habit or something you really don't like. So, for example, chewing betel nut is a cold turkey I want my driver to get rid of. Yeah, a cold turkey. <laughs> no one wants a cold turkey. Okay. And besides Thanksgiving, another festival that we celebrate in October is Halloween. Yes, very importantly. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So when it comes to Halloween, what comes in your mind? Of course those ghosts. Pumpkins, and right? Pumpkins, yeah. yeah. I remember back to those old days when I was in Canada. We draw the pumpkins and then we carve them. We take those inside out and then we make them the scary faces. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to pumpkin, there's an idiom that you definitely need to know, yeah. which is turning into pumpkin. So what does it mean? Turning into the pumpkin means that you need to either go back home or go to bed. You want to go to sleep. So, yeah, because it's already late. Yes. So yeah. for example, if your friend wants to ask you out and it's already pretty late, you say yeah. like, oh, sorry, I'm tired. I'm about to turn into pumpkin. Yes. So these are the two English idioms that we would like to share with you today. Yay. So how about let's ask Dr. Banana to share with us a Japanese autumn-related saying. Yes, sure. So especially in Japan, now autumn is a season with abundant, delicious ingredients. So the first thing comes in my mind is the Pacific Sori. You know Pacific Sori? No, I never heard of them. So there's an old Japanese saying, Sanma ga teruto, Amma ga hikomu. Sanma ga teruto, Amma ga hikomu. So what does it mean? It literally means when Pacific Sori arrives, the massages ought to retire or you know the massage store ought to close. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Why is that? Why is that? Mm. Because Pacific Sori or Sama is a very nutritious fish. It contains very high amount of cobalamin, vitamin D, and as well as DHA. Wow, that yeah. means it can make us really stronger. Strong. Yeah, and, uh, and 
very uh, energetic yeah. in autumn. So, you know, it's not hard to understand that uh, why people, the Japanese people believe that uh, as long as you have the Pacific story, you don't need massages anymore. Mm. So it's more like the Japanese version of a Pacific story a day keeps the massages away. <laughs> As today, we are in, in the Tongan, Tongan Harbor. Yeah. So uh, we are not too far from the local fish mart. Let's go check out if, if we can. Have yeah, we can story. find some Pacific story. Okay. Let's go. These are the Pacific stories, and now it's just about their season. Talking about Pacific story in Japanese culture, Gendai dewa shio sareru hotondo yuizu no kanji hyoki to natteru aki katana wo no yurai wa aki ni shun no mukae yoku toreru koto to hosoi yanai wake de giniro ni kagayaku sono gyotai ga katana o renso saseru koto ni ari. Aki ni toreru katana no yona katachi o shita sakana to no gani aru to kangai rare teru. Aki no sanma wa shibobun ga ooku. 独特の風味のある旨味であり、特に塩焼きは日本の秋の味覚の代表の一つとも多くの人に愛食される。日本各地で9月から11月にかけて毎年恒例のサンマ祭りが行われますよ。这是今天的张礼品。耶。Hey guys, and hello again. Now we are back to our place. So before we move on to the Polish idiom, please remember to subscribe to our channel. Yeah. And if you like this video, then just give us a like. And if you don't like this video, please just do nothing. Do nothing. Don't dislike the video. So uh, the Polish saying. Yes. Yeah, so uh, as you may know or you may not know. Polish people love to go for a mushroom, mushroom picking, picking yes. in the autumn, in autumn season. season. In the wood, right? Yes. No. No. That's it. Jakie to grzybki? Do Bolesławca zjeżdżają się grzybiarze z różnych stron. So in Polish language, we even have a special word to describe this activity. So what is that? Oh, we call it grzybobranie. Grzybobranie. Mm. Exactly. Am I pronouncing it right? <laughs> yeah, you are really good. Okay. So for this episode of multilingual tea time, I decided to choose a mushroom-related idiom, mm. and it goes rosnąć jak grzyby po deszczu. So what does it mean again? <laughs> so exact word by word, it means to grow like mushroom after the autumn rain. Oh. But it uh, actually means to grow really fast because uh, in the autumn, when the evenings are still pretty warm and it happens to be raining, the next day you can already find a mushroom. Mm. So, if in your neighborhood recently there are many new hot pot restaurants or convenience store, you can say, oh, in Taiwan, those convenience store and hot pot restaurant grows like mushrooms after the rain. Mm. In recent years, they really opened a lot of uh, convenience stores and uh, hot pot restaurants. But, you know, uh, it just reminds me of a saying uh, here in Taiwan, because um, people tend to call it a spring bamboo shooting. Oh. Yeah, it exactly mean the same. <laughs> Before I start to introduce the Chinese idiom, you know, uh, we normally describe somebody who is trembling or shaking a lot by saying uh, to shake like a leaf. That's true, I heard that. That's yeah, true. like to shake like a leaf, right? Because autumn is typically a season uh, noted for its falling leaves, you know, yellow and the red leaves mm -hmm. falling from the tree, such a beautiful picture. The autumn leaves of red and gold. There 
a whole bunch of the autumn related saying in Chinese, but this one is probably my favorite. Yi ye zhi qiu. Oh, it sounds like a one leaf knows autumn. Indeed. <laughs> so it actually means a falling leaf is the herald of autumn. I think there is a similar saying in English, isn't it? Oh, uh, are you talking about you may know by a handful the whole sack? Yeah, exactly this one. Yeah. So it means like from some small details you may get the whole picture. Yeah, it's always like that, right? So let's say you hire an employee who is already uh, lazy from the first day of the work. So you may probably predict the future, right? So you say, 我的员工第一天就这么摸鱼,可能不会更好了。一夜之秋嘛。Okay, so before we end this video, I have a plan. Why don't we go to the food shop to get oh, some food? That's a great plan! Alright, so let's go! Talking about the fruit of autumn? Maybe persimmon is the best solution. This is my favorite. I'm going to share one of the uh, persimmon related Taiwanese old saying today. It says, Anki na chutao, lehan ka de baksai lao. Anki na chutao, lehan ka de baksai lao. So it literally means the unmarried single man feel like to tear in the season when the persimmons ripen. So why is that? Do you know? Fall makes them feel depressed? Um, not exactly. Because previously, in 17th, 18th and 19th century, when most of the Taiwanese people, they worked in agricultural industry. And unfortunately, most of the people are not landlords. They are the tenant farmers, so they don't even own a piece of land, right? Yeah. So those unmarried single tenant farmers, uh, they feel sad when they see the persimmon ripen because it's the season of fall, of autumn. So it means that it's going to be a, another harsh winter. So, you know, uh, without family's care, without a wife, without income, it just make them want to tear, okay? But luckily, I have you! Yeah, we have each other. Yeah, we have each other. So thank you for watching. That's okay? a wonderful day's video! And thank you very much! Bye-bye!